is India one or many or at least two? The north is separate from the south. There was an Aryan invasion. The Aryans came in. They pushed the original inhabitants, the Dravids, to the south. They established their power, the caste system, made themselves Brahmins, made the others into subordinate castes and controlled their lives, exploited and discriminated against them. Lies. The Aryan invasion theory is a lie. There are no evidences to support that theory. In fact, modern archaeological evidence and genetic evidence tends to completely discredit this theory. There is only one Sanskriti in India and that is Vedic Sanskriti. Read Sangam Sahitya, read the Tolkapyam. You will find the same Devi Devta, the same Paddhati, the same Poojan, the same things. It is only the language which is different and we have so many languages in India. The base is the four Vedas. Whether you are a Shaiv or a Vaishnav or a Shakt, Ram Bhakt, Krishna Bhakt, you can believe in anyone but you are under the umbrella of Sanatan Dharma. The Mauryans were the first to establish a political, politically unified power in the subcontinent. So was the South completely separate from them? Not at all. They were there in almost the entire subcontinent, but the Cholas, the Cheras, the Pandyas and the Satyaputas were not part of their empire. However, they lived in close friendship and indeed under the aegis of the Mauryan Empire. Read the poems of Mamula Nar, Sangam Sahitya, or you can read uh, the Mauryan Shila Lakes, the inscriptions, and you will find all this written over there. The basis of all of Bharatiya Sanskriti is the four Vedas. And that is something that you will get in the Thirukural, you will get it in the Arthashastra, you will get it everywhere. Then why this division? This division is the game, the poisonous game of Christian missionaries who came in here with the European colonial import and they wanted to divide and conquer and convert. So they have planted this poisonous tree which is bearing fruit today, dividing us from our own brethren, the north and the south, all these differences. And uh, people can lie because original sources have not been read by most of us. The poisonous fruit is being used and savored by certain Dravidian groups for whom this is a political necessity. Do you remember that Vishnu Puran Shlok which says that in the north is the Himalaya, in the south is the ocean and in between are the people who live in Bharat and this Santati, they are called Bharatiya. There must have been a reason why Bharatiya called himself as Subramanya Bharti. Don't forget it. 